Okay, so when I began my journey as a game developer a year ago, I did it because I was excited about the game idea I had, something I've always dreamed of making, and I'm sure many game developers start off that way. I wanted to make sure I was doing it the right way though, so I spent a lot of time watching videos and reading articles on common mistakes that beginners make and how to avoid them. And one piece of advice that kept popping up was to start small. So that's exactly what I did. I started by making two crappy games, but both of these projects were not only fun to make, but I've learned so much in the process, from coding, to designing, to creating art. I then participated in my first game jam where I made the game in 7 days and it was a huge success for me as a complete beginner. The amount of people that said they loved the game just blew me away. That really gave me the confidence to take that project seriously and turn it into a full game. And I've been working on it ever since. That said, so far I haven't had the chance to work on the game that I originally wanted to make when I began my journey. And am I even ready for it? Hello, darkness, my old it's hard to say, but I love making games, and I think it would be such a great opportunity for me to learn and grow even more as a game developer, but also for the first time to release a full game that people can play and enjoy. I know the development might take some time, based on how big the scope gets, but I don't see that as a problem. So with all this said, I want to take on the challenge and start working on my dream game. We're gonna do it. Welcome to devlog number 1, in a series where I'll be sharing with you the journey of creating Hooked, a charming and cozy game that lets you take on the role of a fisherman and own your very own patch of land by the lake. Fishing will be the main activity, of course, but there will also be opportunities for farming, building and more. As you progress, you'll have the chance to upgrade your tools, unlock new areas to explore like a forest or a nearby town, where you will be able to meet new characters, become part of the local community, form relationships and discover new ways to grow your fishing business. You'll also have the chance to customize and expand your land, discover new fishing spots and even building a boat to cast your lines even further. Good morning everyone, it's 5 o'clock in the morning and I just finished making a warm cup of coffee and got to my computer. Today is the big day as we're finally kicking off the development. I've been collecting a bunch of art and materials from the internet as inspiration for the game over the past week or so and now it's time to bring my ideas together by creating a mock-up for the game, since right now all we have is the idea. This is actually an important step as it will allow us to visualize the main scene of the game and make decisions before even starting coding. So let's get to work. Alright, so it's been already more than an hour since I started working and actually I should have taken a small break by now, but I've been just really focused on what I was doing here. As you may have figured out already, the game will have an isometric perspective, which basically allows you to see three sides of an object at the same time. I absolutely love this perspective because it allows for a unique and interesting view of the game. Here you can see the main character's house and two pyres. I've also added an ocean around the land, but I'm not quite sure if it's the best fit. To be honest, I think a lake would look so much better. For now though, I'm gonna take a break, grab something to it and then get back to work. So I'm back after a few more hours of work and this is the progress I've made. As you can see I've added a lake in the scene and I think it looks so much better than the ocean we had before. This setup allows you to see what's underwater and I think it will look really cool once we add some life in there. I've also finished the house and started working on the character which isn't animated yet but I think it looks pretty nice. Except when the character is facing away. For some reason the pose looks off and I'm not sure why that is. I think I'm gonna need to ask for help from somebody with more experience to get it looking just right. Follow many tutorials and I used a lot of references trying to make an isometric character. You did a great job there, but I feel like I'm doing something wrong with the perspective, especially when the character is facing away. Maybe you could take a look and give me some feedback. I really appreciate it. Do you know that's really interesting because yesterday, literally last night, I was looking at that video that I made about isometric characters. So hopefully I can have a fresh enough memory to help you figure out what you want to do. Okay, that's looking pretty good. The only thing I would say about your away pose is your shoulders are a little too forward or your head relative to the shoulders pretty far forward. If you just take this, bring this back like a couple pixels, maybe even just one, and I think you're not far. I think that's pretty good because if you draw a line from like the center, just think about where the head's weight is. The weight is already forward here. So all I did was pull it back one or two pixels and now if we go up from the middle of the feet, now it's more balanced. 
not bad. Well, this is a bit embarrassing. It seems like the head was just a bit too far forward. I should have realized what the problem was, but what can I say? Sometimes when you stare at pixels for too long, you kind of lose perspective on what looks good and what doesn't. But big thanks to them for helping me out though. He's a great artist by the way. Highly recommend checking out some of his content if you're interested in learning pixel art. Now, I think we've got a pretty solid foundation here as far as art goes. I mean, I know things are looking rough now, but it's enough to get us started and we'll of course make sure to make it look beautiful later. Next we need to take this smoke up and add everything into the game engine and i'll be honest i don't have any experience working with isometric perspective in unity so i'll definitely have to watch some tutorials and get familiar with what i need to do in order to build a tile set that we can then use to build the scene we'll finish for the day now though and i'll catch up with you guys tomorrow morning Hey everyone, it's 5M and I just woke up. Before I open my computer, I need to do my morning routine, so I'm gonna take a shower, make some coffee and spend some time meditating and then we'll get straight work. It's now 8am already and I've been working on getting this tile set to function in Unity which I have to admit was a bit tricky at first but I'm really happy with what we have now. Though as you can see this is just a static scene, nothing fancy so far. So I've added this block right here trying to simulate the movement of the character and see what that would look like. But we've got two problems right away. One, there are no collisions in the scene so we can basically walk through the trees, the house, over the lake and so on. And two, there is no camera movement which is something we definitely need. Right now with the static camera you can't even see the top of the house. As for colliders, I don't think I can get them working with Unity's collider system and I imagine I'll have to code everything from scratch. In a top-down game, for example, you would build colliders around your objects and on your player character, that way the player would not be able to pass through them. But because of the perspective, we can't really do that. For example, where would you put the collider in the house? We can't just put the entire house into a collider since we need to walk on the porch, right? So we'll need to find a better way of doing this. But we can take care of the camera first since that should be pretty easy to implement. So I've been working on this for the past hour or so and what took me the most was finding the perfect settings for the camera movement but I'm extremely happy with what we've got here. So basically the way this game will work at least for now is that the game world will be split into these blocks of land, almost like floating islands. And as you progress in the game you'll unlock new parts of the map that will have a similar shape. What's interesting though is that these islands will never exceed your screen in width. We could have them bigger but I want the player to be able to see the entire land at the same time. And what happens is that because of this the camera will never have to move left or right but only up and down. This results in a really simple yet nice camera movement that follows the player and no matter what you will be able to see the entire house or your land if you are in the right spot. Today is a pretty busy day for me, but before we finish for the day I want to tackle a not so big task but something that will change the way this game looks. What I want to get done is adding some colors to the scene. We are at a point where adding textures is definitely not important, we first need to get the basic systems in place but I think it would be really nice to get rid of this very basic look by adding some colors. So we're gonna spend the next hour or so trying to find some nice colors that work together and we'll see what we can come up with. Alright, so after a lot of trial and error trying to find the right colors, I think I got a pretty nice palette here. Though colors in a game play a big role in the vibes you get while playing it, so these would definitely change, but I think they look really nice and work well for now. Altogether, I'm pretty happy with the progress made so far. There is definitely a lot more work to be done, starting with adding collisions, animating the player and so on. But that's a lot of work so we're gonna save that for the next devlog. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below on the progress made so far and any suggestions you might have. Thank you guys for your time, I appreciate your stay and much love.